you know, traveling and playing is is my life. I don't really find a place to uh, time to uh, you know relax to chill. I have two kids now, so uh, it's been like a really really uh, stressful times. Uh, I'm always doing the stops between the gigs at home. There, there is never break. I never take vacation. I, I don't think I ever took vacation in the last 25 years. Never. So I'm trying to collide my vacations together with the uh, trips that I'm doing. Um, I'm a gaming addict actually. I used to be, yeah, but I can't afford it anymore. You know, I can't afford it at the time. Yeah, the time. Is what play. games is it? Uh, Call of Duty mainly. Oh, Call yeah, of Duty to yeah. all the Call of Duty fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> I used to I used to spend like you know sometimes like ten hours a day, uh, fifteen hours a day on that game, but well, not anymore. Priorities, <laughs> right? Yeah. I would say first of all, the number one for me is Stanley Kubrick as director of, uh, of uh, cinematic genius. Uh, he has so much influence on my music. Um, yeah, who else? I'm always enjoying the company of Roger Ram and Simon Password. Yeah, those guys are those guys are always fun. They're very comfortable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have to be honest, it would sound a little bit strange, but I, I usually watch uh, Stanley Kubrick's movies and uh, sometimes documentaries. It gives me so much uh, inspiration and uh, keeps me going and keeps me, uh, keep, you know, I'm keeping my music, um, I'm trying to um, uh, to add like really small um, secret messages inside my music. Not many people recognize them, but it's sometimes it's reversed um, speeches, uh, sometimes it's like, um, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of, uh, the same thing that he's doing for a cinema, uh, but adding like, um, uh, small messages and small clues about some things. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do the same in the music. So. Very cryptic. Yeah. Well, if you hear my tracks for, I think, for maybe like 20 times, maybe you can, you know, recognize some of them. Yeah. Hallucinogen. Hallucinogen. Simon Postford, he's, uh, he's a guy for me. Mm. Till this day, you know, I'm, sometimes we speak over the phone and I'm still like shaking when I'm speaking with him. Because mm -hmm. I grew up on his music, that was the first album I ever bought, um, the LSD, uh, Alucinogen LSD. He's a genius. I would do the exact same thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've always been so kind to people, I've always been uh, right on my point, I've always been on the track. Yeah, I will do this exact same thing. Good role model. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that one of the main reasons I got into Psytrance was uh, Hallucinogen uh, Long Derecture. That was a track that um, that I got curious how to do that, how to produce that music, you know. There's so much going on in that track. And even though it sounds simple, but I think it's it's almost undoable. <laughs> I would say um, I've been I've been in this business for 25 years, and I'm still not sure how how we did it. You know, it's it's a magical track. Hmm. I would say peace. Peace is uh, is something that I'm after it. I uh, wish to see the world in peace. That's something that you know. It sounds maybe cliche, cliche a little bit, but um, you know something that I'm very looking for, especially now when I have kids. I really would like to see to see them living in a kind world, like, you know, intelligent world, non-violent. Namaste to that. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>